Welcome back. So let's talk about the Pittsburgh Penguins. More specifically, Kyle Dubas. And Kyle Dubas comes in uh, the 1st of June, I do believe, somewhere around there, uh, is named as the new president of the team and interim GM. So he'll run things as GM through the draft. They'll probably pick up a new GM sometime in July. Well, we got to August, and I've seen articles lately asking, so where's the new GM? Kyle Dubas has come out today and said he is the new GM. He's the guy who's going to run the team for this season. So I, I guess we can still technically qualify him as interim since he's not saying he's going to run it past this coming season. But if you're going to be GM for a full year, it, it doesn't feel like an interim mark. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that, you know, when you're looking for a GM, you may very well already know who you want to be your general manager. And it might be a situation where he may feel like this is the year to train up his replacement from within the Pittsburgh organization. Now, he was with the Sioux Greyhounds in management role from 2011 to 2014, then goes to the Toronto Maple Leafs in 2014, right up until 2023, where the Leafs said, you're out of here. So he's only 37 years of age. It's easy to forget that, that he is very young for a general manager in the NHL, for somebody to be in this kind of a position. So I'm actually honestly okay with the idea of him sticking around as general manager for a year. Um, and and I, I think the guy he's, he's training up is Jason Spezza. To me personally, Spezza leaves the Toronto organization to go to Pittsburgh. He goes from being the assistant to Dubas to being the assistant general manager. I thought it was odd when they hired him to be the assistant general manager because they don't have a permanent manager, right? To me, you don't hire an assistant GM until you have a permanent GM. It just, I, I don't know if I've seen that before. Maybe I'm wrong, but it just, it feels like that's kind of backwards unless Dubas's plan was, okay, I will hire Spezza. He can be the assistant. I'll train him up for a year and then he can be the next general manager. I think that could happen, right? Uh, also, and I wanted to get through a couple other hires too in the organization. He hires uh, Buki Mapofu, and I apologize if I'm butchering that, uh, to be Director of Hockey Operations and Legal Affairs. He brings in Amanda Castle and Trevor Daly, uh, their special assistants to Kyle Dubas, his general manager role. Uh, Andy Saucier, uh, Director of Professional Personnel, and Eric Heasley was brought in as Director of Minor League and Amateur Scouting Operations. So this is a, an organization where Dubas has started to put his, his stamp on it, right? And to me, the idea that he's going to stick around for another year, either... To me, he's training up Spezza or he doesn't like the candidates. There's the possibility that he's looked at who's out there and he's he's just hasn't found anybody that he feels is one that he'd want to hand the reins of the team to. I think he'll I think he'll do a decent job. This is the team that only finished one point out of the playoffs. And when you look at the additions to the roster, it's interesting. Uh Nola Cherry stands out. Knows him from Toronto. Uh Andreas Janssen knows him from Toronto. Also added Lars Eller. Ryan Graves, Vinny Henestroza, Alex Nedeljkovic, Matt Nieto, Riley Smith, and Redeem Zahorna, who, of course, was returning to Pittsburgh, and he'd know him from Toronto. So the addition of Riley Smith is an interesting one. Does it offset the loss of Jason Zucker? Uh, Dumoulin is gone. Ryan Paling's gone. Uh, Josh Archibald, Dmitry Kulikov, Nick Benino, Drake Kajula, and Dustin Tokarski. And again, that's by my count. Apologies for anybody else who's missed. So whether or not Pittsburgh's better this year than last year is going to be an interesting question for them to answer. Um, obviously, this is going to be uh, a season where uh, Dubas has watched very, very closely his first season outside of Toronto and with the way things ended in Toronto and again with a team that's looking to make the playoffs. Ideally, I want to see Pittsburgh make the playoffs and play Toronto in the first round because who wouldn't want to see that? Wouldn't that be fantastic? Kyle Dubas against the Toronto Maple Leafs in the playoffs, yes, please, uh, and and I I think that would that would be a fun series. Obviously, you know, for Leaf fans, it becomes a bit more personal, and for Dubas, I would think having his new team against the team that fired him, it'd be pretty personal for him as well. But it remains to be seen whether or not this Pittsburgh team this year is going to be better than last year. Uh, they 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 fell out of the playoff race last year. Well, I mean, they lost that game against Chicago that cost them that playoff spot. But the fact that they ended up missing the playoffs is indicative that this team seems to be going in the wrong direction in terms of contention. And Kyle Dubas was brought in to right the ship. You have Crosby, you have Malkin, you have Latang. 
Uh, and so with that, those three and being, you know, in a, the advanced ending stages potentially of their career, you want to make sure that they have a chance to win one more championship together. And so that is Dubas's charge. So how do you feel about him deciding the best person for this job is me? I am struggling not to mention Dwight Schrute when he became his own assistant on The Office because that's kind of what this reminds me of. Of Yeah, I've interviewed, I, I've decided I'm the best person to report to me because now, you know, hockey ops and GM, sure, why not? But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through, you just happened upon this video. And who do you think is the next general manager of Pittsburgh? Or next year, does Dubas just say, you know what? I've decided I'm doing a good job and I'm going to stay. I've decided I'm hiring myself full time. Let me know your thoughts. And hey, you know, off season's always interesting. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I will talk to you again soon.